All right, so now I have a fairly rough decision I gotta make because I can't hide any knots on an edge like this. It, it's just, I can't do it. So eventually, having things taken in and out will, will rub those, and I don't wanna do that. So I can either start at the bottom, which is always best because things will stretch upwards. Um, I could start up here, but if I go too far down, I'm going to miss the spot where I have to re, um, reattach my lip. So, hmm, I'm thinking I might need to do it in two different sections, but I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that just yet. I might just do a small saddle stitch to right about maybe there, and do a running stitch from here and all the way back. And do that you know, on both sides so I come to that middle point, which I think, looking at it right now, that's probably my absolute best option. So this should be very interesting. We'll see how this goes. Because everything wants to try and close up on me today. I want to have just enough thread to do what I need to do. So, if I take one side, I'd be able to go all the way up and halfway back. Yeah, we'll try that. And I'm going to try and start somewhere in the middle down here. So that way I have a good spot to be able to do my knots. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> start down here, do my saddle stitch up, then take one side and just do a running stitch all the way to the top and back. We'll see. You guys will be probably just as surprised as me if this works. There's really no wrong way to do it, but there's definitely an easier way. But not always will easy give you the finished look that you're after. And I'd rather not have two sets of knots on this side if I can help it because Knots tend to be weak points as well. So if I can get away with just one. Where did my second needle go? Okay, come on, y'all. It was just right here. right here <laughs> on the floor like a dummy where I can step on it it's just sharp enough to go through a foot we have had that experience happen at my house before young kids learning how to sew and boy was that a hard lesson learned scared the heck out of everybody. Needle broke off in a person's foot. Guess who made an ER trip? And everybody was trying to figure out who's the one who left the needle on the floor. Yeah, it was not, not a good day.
And both of these are long enough to make it to the top and back, so I'm going to be happy with that. I'm going to do one side. Make like I'm going to do my running stitch. I'm going to hold my thread down here, pull these tight, yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do. That's not wanting to go in. Let's open that back up. Now this one, because the holes are more open, I'm going to make this first needle be the one that runs all the way up and down because the tighter the holes get, the more ratty the thread's going to look. So if I use my first needle to do those. first holes, it's going to be much, much easier on me to produce a, a nice, clean looking project. So I'm going to run this one a little bit up the top so it's very clear what needle is what. It didn't quite come up in the hole correctly. I don't want any wayward wayward stitching. Yeah, that's better. Now when I come to edge like that, I'm just going to keep going because now that thread is going to cinch that lip down. Just like that. And I'm going to keep on going. I 
that that is up there. I'm going to take needle number two and do my running stitch as my saddle stitch. And this is going to be so much tighter to work with. <clears throat> so I'm going to sew this one right up to about here and then I'm going to pull my tail through the middle and I'll be back when I get that done. <laughs> 